game, including if it goes to games four and five. Another good serve by Cuico. Thomas cannot hit it down hard enough. Speaking of hitting it down enough, hard enough, that's exactly what Adam Arsic does on another vicious kill. On another perfect set for Ornelas giving San Vito a three-point lead, 14 to 11. I think it's the fifth consecutive serve here by Cuico in this setup. I think she might have got away with stepping on the line, and I don't think that, that Julia Gordon is credited with a block because she didn't touch it as they went back down on the net. Tough for Carson to play, and the Pirates now have a 15-11 to 11 lead. Another serve by Cuico. Louis Falimana plays it. Ayosa can't get the kill, dug by Cuico. A pretty awkward attempt by Bubica as it went out and Carson gets a, a rare point but a very well needed side out as well. 15-12. Bubica plays that serve. Marsic again with another kill. In the early going, Anna Marsic has taken it too. Terry Louis Faramano who has been relatively quiet on the Carson side. 16-12 San Pedro as Nan Natalie Inninger comes back in. Dakota Ornella is back out to serve. This is her second tr try, or second trip to the service area. Nice tip, but San Pedro was able to play it. Ornelas, played by Carson. Louis Palomano still hasn't got a kill. Played by Ornelas, and miscommunication there by San Pedro gives Carson a point. Checking in for the Colts is Mariah Robertson, who was in briefly early in this first game, and she's back out to serve. Carson has one ace so far in this match, San Pedro has two, both by Andrea Wishadell, who played that serve. Ornelas to Marsic again. Marsic with four kills already here to start this match. And she is completely overpowering Carson and head coach Daniela Klein at this point. 17-13, San Pedro. Serena Lindemann here now, ready to serve. Of course, Tejada, Samuel Tejada is the coach of San Pedro. The assistant is former girls volleyball sensation Alexis Hathaway. Bubica hits it over on the third hit. Carson plays it. They tip it down. Nice up by Ornelas. Bubica hits it over and a free ball for Carson again. Louis Falimana. That's her first kill of the match. And she finally got something to work with. 17-14 Carson. And a pretty good set by Tori Mississauri Lafua, number one, who is the starting center for the Colts. Carson also has a dominating football program, 11 city titles, but they haven't won one since 2003. But they're one of the favorites this year to win the city. They dominated Washington Prep in their first Marine League game, 71 to nothing. The service error, however, by the volleyball team of Carson gives San Pedro a point. They're up 18-14, and Amarsic serves it now. Louis Falimana on a kill attempt, on a sideways kill attempt, was played. Bubica hits it over, and another free opportunity for Carson. Tigalao won't get the kill. Now she does, because Marsic did not get any help when she had the up. A pretty close match early on, and I wouldn't expect nothing less when San Pedro and Carson get it on. 18-15 with the Pirates in control of the lead. Lowey Falimana serves and out. It's kind of a curveball of a serve because she didn't get it even past the middle, the back area where Andrea Wishadell is getting ready to serve. Of course, Wishadell had two older brothers, Betty and Max, who both played on the football team and were both tight ends for head coach Mike Walsh and I bring up the Wishadell name, and what does Andrea do? She serves her third ace. And so far, it's been the combination of Marsic getting kills and Wishadell getting aces, and that's why San Brito's up 20 to 15 right now, as they're looking to go up one game to nothing. But Carson's not out of it by a long shot. Thomas can't get the kill. Dumped down by Dakota Ornelas. Makes it 21-15. Dakota Ornelas is extremely accurate on those dump downs and Carson will call another timeout here by Daniela Klein, their head coach.